So developing flight controls for an eVTOL requires uh, very deep thought and several layers of contingency. So in 2025, we get uh, to have fly-by-wire systems that are very stable. So if you take your hands off the controls, the aircraft will sit there like a rock. But you also need to consider graceful degradation of all the systems. So if this system fails, you have backup and then you have a tertiary backup um, and fundamentally a stable airframe as well. And then of course, having all of the information fused to the pilot uh, so that he can make smart decisions uh, in tough conditions. My approach for designing flight controls for this unique aircraft is to really start at uh, back to basics, fundamentals, starting with designing good physics models for the aircraft so we have good approximations of how the aircraft's gonna perform and behave. And then we can start building control algorithms on top of that and experimenting with what is the best uh, control algorithms for our application and what's gonna give us the most robust performance for all of our flight testing. The most significant considerations really for flight control development of an eVTOL, the aircraft must be uh, stable in all flight modes. And what I mean by that is not necessarily aerodynamically stable, but definitely digitally stable if under flyby wire. And we need the aircraft to be naturally recentering to wherever you decided to put it when it is in stable flight. Uh, the biggest challenge that we've come across so far with designing flight controls for this aircraft is just the breadth of the flight envelope that we have to deal with. So we're dealing not only with fixed wing uh, flight, which is uh, traditional and uh, there's a lot of good solutions for that, but also moving on to uh, UAV flight, which also has a lot of uh, tried and true designs. But when you mix the two and with our unique configuration with uh, the cover opening actuation and the fan and wing design, that presents some challenges that we have to blend together nicely to achieve stable flight in all of the flight regimes. So for the pilot, there's a few considerations. Uh, one is that they have to be able to manage both fixed wing flight and vertical uh, flight. And that comes with different considerations because the inputs behind the scenes are different uh, in those two regimes of flight. What we want to do is create a system where the pilot doesn't have to necessarily be conscious of that, and they can just place the aircraft where they want with the controls, and the aircraft takes care of the rest behind the scenes. So working with Phil and Brandon, who have extensive military and flight uh, training and experience in these very complex aircraft is super invaluable for giving us sort of a blueprint to look at. Uh, we can ask questions about how some of these really complex aircraft operate in real life and they have real world experience they can draw on to kind of give us an idea. And some of these uh, questions are things that, you know, you wouldn't be able to find the answer to without these uh, really valuable resources who have that military experience, allowing us to sort of get a leg up on development.